Hey there guys, Cred here, back with another model episode for Daisy Modding, unless something official gets implemented of course. For this episode I'm covering an item that I think would be a great addition to your base or your camp, and this is the camping chair. Now I reckon this is a definitely must have item, we've got tents so far, we've got campfires, we've got parts for cooking, so something like the camping chair that a player could interact with would fit in really nicely here. And as I love the whole role playing aspect of the game and all the role play communities, I think this would be brilliant for something called campfire RPing. This I'll explain later on in the video, but for now, this is the camping chair. Check this out. Here's the pitch. So picture this. You're looting around the wastelands when you encounter a camping chair still intact in its bag. Here's the carrier bag, a waterproof bag that usually comes with a strap, so maybe it could be holstered around the shoulder. It could also be stuffed into a large bag. So when regarding the slots, I'm thinking to a cross by six or seven down. That'll be my best guess anyway, guys. Give me your input. So after hauling it back to your camp, you place it down. The assembling mechanics could work very similar to how tents operate. Wherever it's placed in front of you is the way the chair is going to be facing when the model transforms and folds out into the chair. Here we have a few bags facing strap first around the fire. And after a click option and a short character animation for each chair, you've got a bunch of camping chairs. Pretty straightforward. As usual, I've done a nice little range. This is the dark green one. A medium blue one. An orange one with yellow flower graphics. Now maybe some female players may appreciate this more, but apart from that, it's always good to have that one out there in the set that's not really to your taste. So when you finally come across a camping chair, you're like, yes! I finally found one, and then opening it out, you're like, oh no, it had to be the flower chair out of them all, didn't it? Because after all, it is a survival game where players have to compromise or never get entirely what they want some of the time. And lastly, my personal favourite, the camo chair. On a side note, I don't know if this would have any effect on players' health. As a suggestion, maybe sitting on something comfier than the floor could very, very slowly restore your health, perhaps. Just a thought anyway, guys. So why have this? As well as PvP and survival, there's a big demand for base building as well. But more than just building up walls and setting up a few tents and houses within, I think what will really make and break base building in the future is the equipment that people can collect to populate it. The more stuff a community can add, the more valuable the base is to them. But even more importantly, the more immersive and realistic it may feel. Also, when it comes to roleplay communities, this is where the camping chair and other forms of seating could really shine here. Sometimes roleplay groups get together around the fire to get to know each other's characters better, or use it as a place for RPs to play out their storylines, or to talk about group politics, that sort of thing. Uh, so basically, in a nutshell, that's Campfire RP. Um, and that's what it's all about, just getting together and interacting, and I think it's a really good arena. So having more stuff to build around the campfire, the better theatre you have, I reckon. Now this all sounds great, but there are down points players will have to consider if modding in the camping chair. First of all, all the extra work. I've got the low poly model, that's half the battle I guess, but it's going to take some programming and animation to get your avatar to sit in the chair and perhaps have a few similar functions to the F3 sit on the ground actions, i.e. eating, drinking, pull out a weapon while seated. Another big issue is that the material on the camping chair is thin. Now my mesh for the seating material is only one layer and even if it was boxed it obviously couldn't have any real thickness to it. Why am I saying this? Well, as you can see, it fits a naked avatar just fine, but when you're wearing gear and clothing, you're going to have pieces of model from clothing sticking out through the mesh. This, visually, is a big problem. The only way I think this could be solved is if you upped the chair's geometry and added a sophisticated rig that registered to all pieces of clothing, but that is just too ridiculous. So, what do you do? If you left a bit more gap between the body and chair, that would probably not solve the problem completely, but minimise overlapping. But of course, 
If it's too far apart, then the avatar may look too far out of place. So there will be some overlapping, and with some items of clothing, it could look bad. Perhaps bad that it doesn't look acceptable for a AAA game. But if players could take this on board and accept a bit of overlapping, then I guess why not have this sooner? And that's almost it. I think that's as much as I can talk about for a chair right now. But before I go, just one more thing I really want to show you. Every one of these chairs has a drinks holder. So you could simply add whatever drink you wanted and presto, the drink appears held in the holder. So you can sit around a fire or your camp and then always have your drink at your side, which would be cool. And that's it for this episode, guys. If you want to see the models for yourselves, I've got them on P3D. I'll leave the links below. I've got all the textures at 2048, but this site only lets me upload 1024. But enjoy, guys. Tell me your thoughts, as always, guys, and leave them in the comment box, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Love all you guys, and all the best. Take care out there.